Imagine a world in total turmoil where you would not be allowed to purchase the basic necessities like food, water, and gas. A world that strips you of all of your rights and freedoms unless you agree to possess a certain fateful mark in your forehead or your hand. A mark that represents a license or permission to live in the world's final civilization. You have probably heard about the infamous Mark of the Beast and the ominous number 666. Where did it come from? Why is it so dangerous and how do you avoid getting it? In fact, how do you know you don't have it now? The Bible says that in the end of time, everybody will be required to receive the Mark of the Beast. And if you don't receive this mark, at first you won't be able to buy or sell and ultimately you'll be killed. He causes all to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. In fact, verse 15 says, those who don't worship the image of the beast should be killed. The Bible is clear, death would be preferable to the curses that fall on the one that receives the mark of the beast. But how can you avoid receiving this mark if you don't even know what it is? There are a lot of misconceptions about what the mark of the beast is. Some, for example, believe the mark of the beast is a barcode or a tattoo that is branded on the forehead or the hand. Others believe that the mark is some form of computerized ID chip that's inserted under the skin. And then there's still others that think that everybody is going to be told to line up and receive their 666 credit card. While the number 666 is associated with the name of the beast, the number itself is not the mark. You don't get the mark of the beast by driving a car with 666 on your license plate. And you'll probably not be struck by lightning if you sit in seat number 666 at some arena or sporting event. The truth is that the mark of the beast is not a physical external mark at all. What's even more surprising is that most people don't realize the Bible teaches everybody in the last days will have one of two marks. One group has the seal of God in their foreheads. The other group has the mark of the beast. The seal of God is having the law of God in our hearts. And these words that I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. It shall be as a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes that the Lord's law may be in your mouth. So we can see from these examples in the hand and in the forehead is symbolic of having the law of God in our actions and in our thoughts. That would mean that the mark of the beast in the hand or the forehead is also not a physical external mark but rather it represents some distinguishing difference in the thoughts and the actions of the lost. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. In the hand, in the actions, in the head, in the thoughts, it's a symbol. The Bible says in the end of time, everybody will receive some form of mark. It's not going to be a tattoo or a computer chip or a credit card. That's just what the devil wants people to think. Satan has managed to get just about everybody to focus looking in the wrong direction while the real mark of the beast is creeping up right behind them. So what does the mark of the beast symbolize? Nobody has it yet, but soon many will. You need to make sure it's not you. There are a few subjects that are more misunderstood and very few subjects that need to be understood more.